So let's set up your payment method on Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another uh, tutorial. Uh, today we'll be showing you how to create uh, and set up your payment methods on your Shopify.com um, um, website. Um, if you've just about set up your store, this look will look a bit familiar to you. Um, it's your admin page and we'll be showing you step by step how to create your own, uh, as I say, payment method so that your um, customers can obviously pay for the product that you're selling um, and that they can transfer the money in a, an effective way um, on the website. So this is um, essentially your Shopify.com admin page um, you can see at the top um, shopify.com slash admin so this is just a, a brand new account actually I've just made this for the sake of the video um, but you'll come to this point as well once you've made up your your account so at this stage you've maybe set up the shop you set up your theme you've named your store uh, added the brand a assets um, now we're on to set up Shopify payments now to do that it's quite straightforward if we just go to the bottom left corner there is the option to click settings now once you've clicked settings and the left hand side there's the option to click payments you're now onto the payment page there's actually three different options that you can select and we'll run through each option individually at the top you'll see that there is shopify payments as it says let your customers pay their way with shopify payments so it's essentially um chargeable um credit cards for example um it says competitive credit card rates better checkout conversion for uh, of shop pay easy chargeback management. So this is the Shopify payment. We need to activate this to set this up, so I'll come back to that in a moment. The second option is supported payment method. So these are your typical PayPal, Amazon Pay that you've often heard about, and we'll add payment methods here just to get that all set up. Payment methods are available with one of Shopify's approved payment providers. So these are the ones that have been approved already by Shopify. Finally at the bottom it says manual payment methods. So these are slightly different payments that are made outside your online store. When a customer selects a manual payment method such as cash on delivery, you need to approve their order before it can be filled. So that makes sense. So start from the bottom, which is probably the least likely payment method. We'll run you through that first of all. So when you click that, there's an actual uh, a selection to be had here. So there's bank deposit, uh, money order, or cash on delivery. So if we, for example, if we click on cash and delivery, we we'll click that and it says specifically uh, additional details displays to customers when they're choosing a payment method. Okay, so this is something for the customers to read. So you want to write, um, obviously, some additional details there that you feel applicable for your cash on delivery service. Payment instructions displays to customers after they place an order with this payment method. So then you're instructing your, your um, customer um, um, instructions um, about how to pay. The next option of course is money order and again there's an option for additional details or payment instructions and likewise for bank deposit additional details or payment instructions and again this is where you can put in your bank details to send um, or um, any instructions to contact you for example to get that all arranged and sorted. In the middle here we have um, your supported payment methods and up top we have Shopify payment methods. We'll click activate, activate Shopify payments here to see what happens, but below you can see all the other if you want to use a different payment provider to, on your store. So if I click this for example, it does highlight all the providers that we can access. So there's some that's obviously not available in the country, so these are maybe um, foreign uh, payment um, providers, um, but over here we have a big list of um, different options, for example PaySafe and what um, um, they support. We click down to here to support the payment methods, we can click add payment method and here it allows us to search for individual um, payment methods. So for example, um, I've clicked search and it actually comes up straight away with what options you want. So for example, if I wanted to check if they do uh, American Express, of course individually that, this one will pop up. Um, I can now click clear this and do MasterCard and you can see this pops up as well and I can click that. Now if I click this again you can actually just scroll down to run through every single specific payment method that you would like and you see there is actually a big wide range of different options to choose from. So we have for example Klarna, uh, Union Pay, we can select different ones that we want in our market or our shop um, to accept. We even have cryptocurrency so there's Ethereum, um, there's Bitcoin, um, keep scrolling you'll see a ton of different options 
uh, but point cash, Dogecoin, um, some other crypto, um, WeChat Pay, um, which um, will be valuable for um, more Chinese um, um, client base as well. So you can see there really is a wide range. Um, so obviously cater this to your market. If you know certain um, certain banks or certain payment methods are common in a certain country of origin, make sure that you utilize that. Okay. I'm happy with this and then after that it can um, you have these all selected. You can now click here to search by provider as well and this uh, um, as we, we saw earlier will show you an array of different options that will cover uh, a range of different specific payment methods. Okay so as we walk away down it says Coinbase Commerce and there's a list of cryptocurrencies so if it's crypto that you're wanting then that's obviously an option to consider. Here we have credit, debit card, payments via Payanamix and there's a list of obviously options there that you would want to go for. But the best way to select a payment method in my opinion is clicking the options that you want and then seeing what displays. So there are no providers that support your selected payment method. So I've selected an array of different options that obviously are not supported. So if I take away some of these options here and let's just say I want MasterCard, I want uh, Visa. And I want uh, American Express and um, let's say uh, Union Pay as well. Now it displays specific providers that offer these payment methods. Okay, so here's are the specific providers. So if you have a specific set of payment methods that you want, this is the easiest way to narrow it down to choose the one you want. So for example, let's say Faster Pay is the one we want to go for. It also has 47 more options alongside MasterCard, Visa, Amex and Union Pay. So this is an excellent option to consider as a big range of payment methods. So this will cover most options for us. Um, so most customers that we come across uh, and see our product that want to buy it can actually buy it from us and we support their payment method. So we want to do that is click Activate. And it'll tell you a bit about Faster Pay. It's a global payments app that grows your business with cross-border payments. So as I say, cross-border. So this is important. As I say, it means that we have a wide range of um, client base that we can access with over 200 plus local payment methods. So certainly this is a really good option and probably the best one that I would recommend. Now we do have to connect um, connect our Faster Pay account. And it says account status. You're not currently connected to Faster Pay. Um, so what we want to do is obviously create that account so that we connect it to our Shopify, and um, that will be all set up. So we do have to click connect, and it will load up uh, the page. And it now says here for us to install the app. So it says this app needs to access store information, edit store information. So that's absolutely fine to allow for that. Um, so what we'll do now is click install app. So it takes us over here now to the faster pay setup, configuration, connect to faster pay, provide your webhook secret key and onboarding the process. So bring it to this page here uh, and essentially you just want to complete this document um, and uh, set up your account with faster pay to connect it. So the case of just making your account here. If you already have an account there's an option to actually log in. And here you go, you can log into your account. And finally, of course, is the standard Shopify payments is over here. Um, this is obviously a great option, but there is a credit card rate um, for as low as 1.5%, you can see. Um, um, so effectively, it's 25 uh, pence. But it does obviously support all these options here. Um, you do need to provide, um, to actually set it up, you need to obviously uh, provide additional payments. So if you complete uh, account setup and click here, there's some personal information, so I won't click it. Um, you can set it up as well, um, and obviously uh, have that ready with Shopify payments. But of course there's other options here as I highlighted. Uh, you can add as many payment methods as you want as we mentioned before with faster pay if you have an account for that. But guys hopefully that has made sense and hopefully you understand now how to set up Shopify payments for your Shopify store. If you have any questions or any issues just make sure um, to ask in the comment box below. And please make sure to comment and like and subscribe the video. Um, thank you very much for your time guys. Have a good day.